I call to order this meeting of the Board of Public Works this Tuesday, January 17th of 2023. First up on the agenda this evening is messages from board members. Do we have any messages from the board this evening? All right. Next up on the agenda is petitions and remonstrances. Uh, this is an opportunity if anyone would like to make a public comment on something not on the agenda, now is the chance to do that. If you are joining us on Zoom, you may use the chat function or the raised hand function to indicate that you're interested in making a comment. Um, and of course, if you're in the room, you can approach the podium. All right, there is no public on the uh, Zoom link and there's no public in the room here, so um, we can keep going. All right, thank you. Seeing no comments, uh, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Uh, first under the consent agenda is the approval of minutes for January 3rd of 2023. Uh, amendment to Central Square Agreement for Custom Report Development. 2023 Kone Service Agreement for Public Works Facilities. Uh, noise permit for Rally for Life and approval of payroll. Do we have any items that need to be removed from the consent agenda this evening? Seeing none. Uh, are there any comments on the consent agenda? Any public comments? Maybe we picked up a member of the public, just checking. All right. Uh, we do not. Seeing none. Is there a motion on the consent agenda? I move that we approve the consent agenda from tonight's meeting, January 17, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Next up, we have new business. First is resolution 2023-01, uphold order to remove 1001 North Jackson Street. Yes, this is Adam Wason, Public Works Director. On behalf of the hand staff, um, we have a request to remove for 1001 North Jackson Street. Uh, this has been noticed properly um, and the owners uh, identified. Uh, on December 9th, 2022, it was noted that the structure had been severely damaged by a fire. On December 16th, 2022, uh, it had been noted that no work had been done to secure the property. Uh, and so this is an order to remove the structure um, and is the official public hearing for that um, removal request. Uh, staff will continue to try to work with the owner uh, to get the property sealed and taken care of, but uh, this gives us the assurance that if that doesn't occur, staff can take the appropriate steps. Thank you. Questions from the board on this item? None. Any public comment on this item? See none. All right, seeing none, is there a motion? I move that we approve resolution 2023-01, uphold order to remove at 1001 North Jackson Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Next up is resolution 2023-02, uphold order to remove at 1707 West Gray Street. Uh, again, Adam Wason on behalf of Mike Arnold and the hand staff. On December 16, 2022, it was noted that this fire had been severely damaged by a fire. Uh, this is an order to remove the fire damage. <clears throat> At that time, an order to remove the fire damage structure was issued, and this requires an official public hearing in front of the Board of Public Works. Um, and all property, all information has been sent to the property owner on what corrective actions and what steps need to be taken. And so this gives us that protection in case those are not done. Thank you. Questions on this item? No. Any public comment on this item? None online. All right. Seeing none, is there a motion? I move that we approve resolution 2023-02, uphold order to remove 1707 West Gray Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Next up is resolution 2023-03, updated community special events application. Uh, 
Um, this is just to update the special event application to incorporate uh, reference to the policy and procedure for private art in the public right of way uh, that you all had approved on December 20th of last year. Uh, we've made some changes to the application and I think there were, there were some questions in the work session that I also want to address just really briefly. So just so everyone is aware, the changes, material changes to the application occur in sections three and six. Uh, again, so the type of a potential um, special event includes now just a reference to art in the right of way just to trigger staff so that they know who to route it to and how to apply the policy. Uh, in section six, it mirrors uh, some aspects of the policy to make sure that staff is checking those parts of the policy, and then also to make sure that the policy itself is attached to the application, which we'll make sure when it's uploaded online that the art policy is attached. Uh, the, the one question that was uh, brought up in the work session that I'd like to address briefly was about the time limit uh, for how long the art stays, and, and just upon reflection of the board's perspective, I think that that's right in the description of the event itself where it's la it's it's listing the the time frame for that event to last i think a fair interpretation of that would be to include the time that the art would last because the private party would be expected to maintain that uh, we'd be happy always to revisit this if in practice uh, that presents a problem and clarify it but that's how we think it i think it would work in that so i, I thank you for your your thoughts about that i'm sorry that i, I kind of shot off the hip there and uh, so i appreciate the perspective i'm happy to take any questions that the board has Questions on this item? No, thanks for addressing that. Uh, appreciate it. Of course. Any public comment on this item? Seeing none, is there a motion? I move that we approve resolution 2023-03 updated community special events application. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Next up is request from Shuck Corporation for lane and sidewalk closures on North Pete Ellis Drive. This is January 18th, 2023 through February 17th, 2023. Engineering. Um, Shuck Corporation was contracted by Wilmington Transit to install two new bus boarding pads. Um, this will include a new uh, crosswalk with pedestrian uh, crossing beacon and also some new sidewalks. Uh, this is on North Pete Ellis, nor north of Longview and south of the railroad tracks. Um, the work will, re will require uh, daytime lane closures. Um, they'll alternate between northbound all at once and then southbound and they'll have flaggers for the closures. And they will also require sidewalk closures on the side they will be working on. Um, again, one time at a time, and then one side at a time. And then they will also install uh, temporary curb ramps and a temporary crossing uh, just south of this. Um, this will aid in the sidewalk closure. And there's also a, an existing crosswalk, crosswalk at the Polly Grimshaw Trail to the north and the work is expected to take place from January 18th to February 17th, 2023. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Questions on this item? Any public comment on this item? Seeing none, is there a motion? I move that we approve the request from Shuck Corporation for line and sidewalk closures on North Pete Ellis Drive from January 18, 2023 through February 17, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Thanks. Next up, a request uh, from JDH Contracting for temporary lane and sidewalk closures on North Monroe Street and West Cottage Grove Avenue. This is January 18th of 2023 through February 3rd of 2023. Hi, I'm Alex Gray. I'm with the engineering department and I'm here because JDH uh, Contracting is uh, working on the Bloomington Digital Underground project and they're requesting uh, lane and sidewalk closures to finish out the project. Um, they're Work is gonna be from Crestmont Park, Mills Pool, Tri-North Middle School, Teacher's Warehouse, and Butler Park, and that surrounding area. 
and they're going to put um, three sections of conduit in each bore that they do, and one of them will have active fiber, and the other two are for future developments. Thank you. Questions on this item? Any public comment on this item? Seeing none, is there a motion? I move that we approve the request from JDH Contracting for temporary lane and sidewalk closures on North Monroe Street and West Cottage Grove Avenue from January 18th, 2023 to February 3rd, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Next up is request from AEG for lane and sidewalk closures. Jason Kerr with Engineering, here with two permits for AEG for lane and sidewalk closures. Uh, this is part of the citywide uh, fiber project going in. Uh, the areas included in these two permits would be Round Hill Lane and South Forester Street. Again, this is an ongoing uh, collaboration for the citywide pro uh, fiber project. Uh, any questions, I'm happy to ask. Thank you. Answer. Questions on this item? Any public comment on this item? Seeing none, is there a motion? I move that we re approve the request from AEG for lane and sidewalk closures. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. Thanks. Next up is staff reports and other business. <clears throat> yeah. Adam Wason, Public Works Director for the City of Bloomington. Uh, just a brief staff report this evening, and um, it's one that I'm very glad to give, but also a little bit sad to give. Um, today marks the end of uh, uh, Animal Control Officer Vicki M uh, Minder's tenure with the city. So Vicki is um, retiring after 22 years of service at the Animal Care and Control Facility. Um, and just uh, want to say a special thank you to Officer Minder for all of her years of dedicated service. Uh, and even on a personal note, um, as someone who's now been with Public Works for seven years, um, Vicki was one of the first people I met as one of our staff members. And I uh, just always appreciated Vicki's kindness, her directness, her willingness to help, her honesty in all situations. And uh, as I said earlier to some staff, uh, she's just one of the good ones. So we're going to miss Vicki. We're going to miss her presence. The animals of Bloomington um, are going to miss her, I'm sure, even though they won't know it. Um, uh, but any, everything I know about Vicki and her work was that whenever she entered into a situation, she was going to be uh, looking for the best outcome for everyone involved, including those uh, animals that we would uh, that she would encounter in the field. Uh, when talking to her today, I know she won't mind not getting those middle of the night phone calls to go deal with a bat in someone's house or uh, all of the other interesting, sometimes crazy things that the animal control officers uh, go out and deal with each and every night. Um, so uh, thank you to Vicki. Thank you for your years of service. Uh, we will miss you around the animal shelter, but know you'll be in town and we'll be able to call you when we need you. So uh, just thank you, Vicki, and uh, appreciate uh, the person that you are. And I'll leave it at that for tonight. All right. Thank you so much. I just have to also give a shout out to Officer Mender. Uh, my uh, cat and I uh, both have been the beneficiary of her, her services. Uh, she helped um, give some good advice when um, I had a small kitten stuck in my vehicle. So uh, really appreciate um, not only that support uh, personally, but um, I never cease to be amazed by the things that uh, our uh, staff over there are able to do and the hard work of um, all of the public works staff, but uh, especially grateful to Vicki for that service. So appreciate that. Yep. All right, uh, next up is approval of claims. Any questions on claims? My only question, we don't have a compilation sheet at the end, like a signature sheet, at least I may have missed it in the packet, and I want to make sure that we are approving yep. the correct total, which uh, is? The correct total is $3,549,012.59. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Any public comment on claims? 
Not unless Alex has anything to say. <laughs> Seeing none. Uh, is there a motion on the claims? I move that we approve claims in the amount of three million five hundred forty-nine thousand and twelve dollars and fifty-nine cents. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. All right. And if there is nothing else, then I will call for adjournment. Fantastic.